here today with my cousin Suzuki Jimmy Jeep looking to clay by the car she just had it washed and he purchased it about six months ago as you can see it's not in the best of condition paintwork neglect and a bit of work needs to be done on the alloys quick look at the bodywork sorry for all the noise I live on the main road yeah swell marks are showing up straight away I don't know if this is something you're going to be able to hear but if I run my fingers over it see if you can hear all the contamin contamination build up let me try getting that closer aiming for a smooth glass finish so what I suggested to her was a quick clay bar which should be able to do this car in about an hour and a half I'm not an expert at this so I'm trying this for only my second third time and a wax and a sealer and hopefully we can get this looking newer or at least somewhat a better condition so we'll start doing the clay bar and uh, I'll give you a video update to let you know how it's all gone let's get a different angle from there got a reflection of the house somewhat so it's not in the worst of conditions but it's a jeep at the end of the day so what do you expect 13 years old clearly never been looked after before I don't know if this is going to show up but there's quite a bit of oxidation on the headlights so we're going to try and get this looking a bit newer it's all discoloured and looking a bit cloudy so um, one step at a time I'll keep you updated as to how the clay bar goes and if I get time I might just polish up a small area here or a wax and sort it out next week if I get time but I'll need to do this quite quick because I understand you need to do a sealant and a wax pretty sharpish after doing the clay bar so I'll get majority of it done today actually I'll make time we will get it done today and I'll show you a video and keep you guys updated so I'm taking this a panel at a time and I'm going in the correct motion from what I've seen on the other videos on YouTube now if you can listen more clearly when the road gets a bit quieter there's little to no friction noise coming off of what I'm doing now however if I move across let me get into there I don't know if you can hear that but as soon as I move across okay so I've done half clay and left the left hand side clear um, all this white build up obviously that needs to it's going to be jetted away now but look at the difference in the water flow It's taking a lot longer for the water to glide off on that side because of the contamination that build up. It looks amazing, doesn't it? Mm. See on this side it's just gliding off. The other side you can more see a lot more ripples. Exactly. It's pretty this is the perfect weather to do this as well. Yeah, so many more ripples on that side. And the white water spots are gone as well. See, look at that. Watch this, I'll do it again. Look at the unclayed side and look at the clay side. Look which ones. Yeah. Watch this. You can't even tell on the, clay, on the unclayed side. So many more ripples on that side, look. Alright, cool, let's finish up. So, just finished doing my cousin's Jimmy Jeep. So it's uh, come out pretty well. Enjoyed it? Very happy with it. I think it's totally worth it. It got rid of some of the exterior scratches too. So right, yeah, look, I'm getting us to focus pretty. on the bodywork now. I'll write on the bonnet so you can see the reflection of the trees. Do you want to glide your fingers over it? Yep. Smooth. Can you do it again? I'm going to get the camera back so you can hear any friction. Wait for those cars. And again. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. <laughs> So just so everyone knows, it was clayed, hosed it down and I went over it with some Maguire stuff. Probably not the best thing in the world, but it's done the job. It's come out really smooth and it smells nice too. Straight away you can see a reflection. You're on camera, a reflection. So definitely much better than before, much smoother. Needs a little bit of a polish and a wax, but other than that we're 
good to go, much better than before. Looks good, happy. Let's get one more shot in the front. So we're just waiting for aloe to be painted next week. I'm gonna deoxidize the headlamp, shine them up a little bit and give it a further wax next week and give it a bit of interior loving next week as well. So hope everyone's enjoyed. Like I said, I'm no expert at this, so tried my best and I think it's come out pretty well. Much better than before.